And I put that puppy on and I was like, oh my gosh. And welcome. Today's video is the unboxing of our May BoxyCharm base box. So before we jump into the video, if you guys are new here, hey, welcome. My name's Rhonda and over here we embrace the hot mess and we run on a ton of caffeine. I'm very caffeinated right now, just saying. And it's a judgment and drama free zone. So hopefully you decide to stick around, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell because I upload all the time over here. And I love giving you guys sneak peeks of boxy charms as well as doing boxy charm try-ons and unboxing. So let's just go ahead and jump into the May boxy charm base box. Okay guys, if you are new to BoxyCharm, the BoxyCharm base box is a $25 a month box and you will receive at least $125 worth of products. Now, so you guys always ask the weight of my box and I checked it on my mail scale and it was 1 pound 1.9 ounces. So moving right into the unboxing, I have gone ahead and opened it up already because I wanted to do a try on so I can review for you guys as much as possible in this box now I will tell you guys Joe did give us a warning that some boxes may not have cards in them this month because there was I believe like a misprint or something and instead of waiting on those cards to come in and get the box out to us later he wanted to just go ahead and ship the box out so I do not have a card in mind this was gifted to me but I did go through and check the price of everything in here and uh, I did like I said try everything on there will be videos or something popping up probably over here in the corner for you guys for me to show you guys so the first thing I want to show y'all this was a customization now in the base box you do get to customize one item in your box now with that being said there were three different things that we could choose from the first one being the glam glow berry glow probiotic recovery mask and when I did a sneak peek of the choices for you guys, a lot of you all said you picked this. Now, the other choice was the Hourglass Vanish Highlighting Stick. Not going to lie, I was pretty excited about that and I kind of wanted that. But so many of you guys told me how amazing this Glam Glow Mask is. I was really excited to receive it. Now, my box did just arrive today. I cleaned everything off. So I've not been able to bust into this just yet and try it out. But I will definitely be coming back and trying this out giving you guys a review later in the month because like I said a lot of you guys told me you picked this up during add-ons during a boxy pop-up and you guys said that this was absolutely amazing and it did have a retail value of $49 the other item that was a choice was by Elemis it was resurfacing pads it had like a $59 value um, but like I said a lot of you guys said go with the glam glow so very very excited about that the next item is and this is so funny. Literally, yeah, I'm hoping to be able to get this video up to you guys Tuesday. Uh, on Monday, my on Monday I uploaded a video doing a sneak peek spoiler for the base box. And in that video, I showed you guys a picture I found on Instagram, which I'll pop it up over here for you guys. And the one thing I didn't mention, there was one thing I wasn't for sure of, and the other one I just didn't mention because I was like, that is so hard. I don't know what it is. And it was up here in the corner, top corner, and I remember thinking, what the heck is that? Well, it is the Daily Concepts Shampoo Bar. It's a plant-based vegan product. It has avocado oil, it's rich in EFA oils for elasticity and natural shine to bend not break hair and I did check it out it does have a retail value of $24 now I thought this was very interesting because I have heard a lot of people talk about these shampoo bars I want to say Lush actually has one and a lot of people said that it saves them money because you're not using as much shampoo you're not over shampooing your hair or anything like that so I'm definitely intrigued by this I think that this is something that um, was definitely something on my radar to check out and I found it so interesting because like I said in that picture I had absolutely no idea what that product was so I'm excited that I received it it does say that it is cruelty free and I will definitely be trying this out 
and getting back to you guys on my final thoughts. Okay, so the next items I'm, I'm going to talk about with you guys, I have done a try on for you guys. And the first one I want to talk about, and this was a sneak peek we got later, very, very later in the month. And that was by Pretty Vulgar. This is the Uncaged Eye Primer. It does have a retail value of $29. And again, you guys will see me, you know, showing you guys the component and everything and putting product out on my hand. I have to say it is a very comfortable formula. It, it's definitely not something that creased up on me. I will say I am very, very used to the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. So I'm used to a lot of coverage when it comes to my eyeshadow base. I have kind of veiny lids. So I do like the fact that the Gerard Clean Canvas Eye Base does have more of a pigmentation there or an opacity there. I will say with this, this is definitely more of a sheer coverage, but it's very lightweight. It was very comfortable. My only complaint was the fact that I'm so used to the opacity of covering up those veiny lids that that was one thing I definitely missed. However, with that being said, if that's not something you're looking for, you're really going to enjoy this because I definitely felt like it, it gripped my eyeshadows and it definitely helped project that pigmentation of the eyeshadows. So I do feel like it is a good formula and like I said, it does have a retail value of $22. Moving right along to the eyeshadow palette that I told you guys I really wanted in our sneak peek spoiler video I posted yesterday, and that is by Studio Makeup. It's the Ease to Wear palette, eyeshadow palette. I do have it on today. And you guys, I told you in the video I'm putting up over here, I'm showing you guys how I applied the shadow and created this look. I told you in the sneak peek video that this palette reminded me so much of the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette that I really wanted to add to my collection. And I know it had been on sale, but I ended up talking myself out of it. And oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did because obviously I got this palette and I love it. I love the shades of it. And I have to say, I was stunned with this bare shade. I honestly thought it was going to be, and I should have swatched them, but don't worry, I'll be coming back and doing another look for you guys as far as that goes. But this bare shade is this really pretty, like cool toned type of taupey shade. And I should, like I said, I should have swatched it. I thought it was going to be very sheer, sheer. I thought it was going to be a really pretty crease transition type of shade. And I put that puppy on and I was like, oh, Oh my gosh, this palette is so pigmented. I have never played with Studio Makeup eyeshadow formula before ever, so I didn't know what I was getting into. And for me, I'm like, oh, I'll just, you know, pop a little on. It's going to be sheer. It's going to be fine. No, it is pigmented. And I have to say, you'll probably see it in this video. I've not edited that video yet, but I did. I sat here and blended. I will say it did blend out beautifully. I jumped into the lace shade over here, which is a matte, matte? Yeah, it's definitely more of a matte than like a sh like a satin or anything. It's definitely a matte shadow, and I tried to kind of soften up what I did with the bare shade. But I felt like it, overall it was very easy to work with. The pigmentation is definitely there. It's a very pretty palette, very cool tone, almost neutral. Um, oh, I just gouged one of the shades. Oopsie daisy. But it's a cool tone neutral palette. Really like it. And I feel like if you weren't able to get your hands on the Naked Reloaded palette by Urban Decay, I think you're really going to enjoy this. I Like I said, out of the shades that I played around with, I really did enjoy the formula. I thought it was very easy to work with. And you guys know, your girl's not a makeup artist. I'm just an enthusiast that loves to play with all kinds of makeup luxury, high-end, affordable, whatever it may be. So this had a retail value of $35 and I definitely like this palette. It Last, let's talk about this. Now this was another item at the top of this picture over here that I was not 100% about, so I didn't talk about it in the sneak peek spoilers for the base box. But this is the Blink Black Lash Primer. This is not a mascara, guys. This is a primer. Holy guacamole. Now y'all know that I am queen of my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara Primer. I love this stuff. I swear by this stuff. It does have a white cast to it. You know, that's all there is to it. It's almost like 
it looks like a white conditioner or something but for me I don't struggle with it because I put so many layers of mascara on that you don't even notice it it doesn't change the shade of your mascara or anything like that what I love about this one is it is a black formula to the point that when I was applying it and testing it out my oldest daughter was sitting in here and I was like Haley you need to look this up for me double check and make sure that this is in fact a primer not a mascara because it literally could be used as a mascara it is amazing like Haley was sitting over on the other side of the room and she's like mom your lashes look amazing and I'm like I know right like it blew my mind it literally blew my mind very comfortable doesn't make uh, my lashes feel heavy or anything like that I have to say like this is a an, it's $26 it is a $26 so it's a very expensive primer but I would say it is definitely something that I feel like is worth it but I'm telling you guys you could use this as a mascara and I honestly I thought that that's what it was until I started reading it and I'm like oh <laughs> that's a primer so very very amazing so I told you guys in yesterday's video that the theme for the May boxes were was mother nature and I feel like honestly when I think of mother nature and you know season change and we're going into summer I do feel like this was a really good box you know it's time to try new things and bring new things in and I have to say I feel like this box did it you know I had a good mix of skincare hair care makeup trying new things out so I feel like this is the epitome of you know bringing new things in trying new things out and like I said this box is a $25 a month plus tax box and like I said I don't know the variation because there was not a card in here and the retail value remind you we are guaranteed a minimum of $125 everything in this box came to a grand total of 156 dollars so my thoughts on this like i said with the theme being mother nature trying new things out i i feel like this was really good i i feel like there's things in here and this is what i like about subscription boxes is there's things in here that i may not i've been looking at but i may not have picked up but it was put in here for me to try out so i really do like that i like the fact that with subscription boxes you do have to keep an open mind because you may get things in here that you may not have typically purchased for yourself may not have been you know shades that you typically would have tried out or something or was in your color you know wheel or whatever you want to call it and they put these things in here and they're like try it out try it out and I'm excited about it I am excited about it like I said I'm so used to my clean canvas eye base that I don't think to try things that are a little bit more sheer but I have to say this worked beautifully it was a great eye primer and it really made made all of the colors pop even though they wore neutral shades in this palette everything is very comfortable I am mind blown mind blown by this mascara primer and again like I said I'm very excited to try these two products out because you guys have told me this is like a holy grail for you guys so anyways guys let me know what you got in your boxy charm what was your favorite item and what is something that surprised you in the box did you feel like this was a great mother nature type of box I always tell you guys these are great not only to gift to yourself but gift to your friends you know I mean especially right now when we really can't get out and socialize and all of that stuff it's always fun to you know get a little surprise give a gift all of that and if you guys are interested in signing up for BoxyCharm I will have a link in my comment section I'll pin it down below there is a giveaway going on I'll have the link to that video as well so you can go over there and enter into that giveaway real quick just to go over important dates with you guys don't forget boxy pop-up is coming up starting on may 11th you can have early access into boxy pop-up to so check your account on may 11th to get into boxy pop-up this is when you can get up to 80 percent off of products like i said glam glow will be a part of that there's all different kinds of brands if you are new to boxy charm and you want to get in on boxy pop-up if you do use my link down below and sign up you will get six dollars towards your boxy pop-up purchase so definitely stay tuned for that just in case you don't get an email reminding you of that it's very easy just jump into your account keep refreshing and once boxy pop-up goes live 
things go fast. So you've got to be like the fastest fingers of the wild, wild west. That's all I got to say about that. So anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please help us out by giving me a big thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. Again, what was your choice? What was your favorite item? And what was the item that shocked you the most in this box? As well as what was your variation? Because I will probably be coming back and showing you guys different variations out there. I'm going to have to do a little FBI investigation and figure out which variation I have. So until next time, friends, don't forget to check my comment section down below for the pin post of where you can sign up. Like I said, that that link is to sign up for BoxyCharm. That is an affiliate link. So thank you guys in advance for that. And thank you to BoxyCharm for sending this box over my way to unbox and share with you guys. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, friends, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah. Bye.